Hi, and welcome to part four of module one called Type of Illness. In this module, we're going to be overviewing acute versus chronic ill health now that we understand the different levels of healthcare primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. When attempting equitable funding allocation in the face of demand in Australia, it becomes necessary to be aware of the different type of diseases that need to be supported. The following um, slides will demonstrate the relative divisions that can be made between acute and chronic disease processes. On this next slide, you'll see a quote from an article called Chronic Illness, The Burden and the Dream, which is an editorial actually by Chu and Van der Weyden, and you have a copy of this uh, available to you. It says, were we too successful in the 19th and 20th centuries? Public health and medicine vanquished many infections and injury as causes of death and disability in the developed world. But a burden of chronic disease now rises to challenge us. Chronic disease affects at least one in 10 Australians and cardiovascular disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and depression are endemic. So this is the, actually the opening paragraph from that editorial and it highlights the issue that we currently face in Australia related to chronic disease. The full article, as I said, is available for you on LMS and I would like you to please read this paper as it forms a good introduction to understanding chronic illnesses and you'll also need to familiarise yourself with this editorial for an upcoming task. As I said previously in one of the earlier slides, when attempting equitable funding allocation depending on the demand for healthcare, we need to be aware of the different types of diseases that the funding needs to be made available for. So the following tasks demonstrate the relative divisions that can be made between both acute and chronic disease processes. And you are going to need to make these distinctions to therefore understand how funding is allocated. So your first task relates to acute illness. And what I would like you to do is read the summary of hospitals in Duckett and Wilcox, page 185 to 186. And then as it says there, briefly in your own words, describe hospital by type, capacity, waiting times, activity-based funding, safety and quality of care and governance. What I'd like you to do is compare with your group to cross-check your definition so that you're all on the same page with this. Once you've done that, we'll move on to task two. Here is task two. Duckett uses his descriptions of hospitals synonymously as acute healthcare service providers. However, he also describes changes in acute services being provided only in hospitals. What I would like you to do is two things. Describe some examples of acute services traditionally offered in hospitals, which are now occurring elsewhere. And secondly, how could this affect public hospital costs? So the hint here is, see the hospital costs paying for hospital services section in Duckett and Wilcox, and that's specifically found on pages 203 to 207. Now that you've completed the two tasks related to acute illness, I have some tasks for you related to chronic illness. Let's have a look firstly at task one and revisit the previous article from Chu and Van der Weyden, which I took the opening um, statement from early, in one of the earlier slides. So have a look at that and you'll also need to access another reference, which is the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare um, reference called Australia's Health 2010. Once you've had a look at those two references, I'd like you to answer these three questions. From Chu and Van der Weyden, list the descriptions given of the components or diseases which contribute to the burden of chronic disease in Australia. Compare these to the key points described for burden of disease in the report from the um, Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. And then three, comparing the two sources, have a think about whether much has changed within seven or eight years. And again, as always, please 
work with your group members to complete this task. Your next task, task two for chronic illness, is to use the example from the Chu and van der Weyden editorial. You'll find the example in the on the second page, page 230, in a, in a box. It's called the alternative, we have a dream. What I'd like you to do is construct a scenario that uses eye healthcare to describe both a reality and an alternative as described in that box. Note though, if you choose to use an example from your own clinical experience, please de-identify the patient and the clinicians and the practice and the hospital so that you're keeping it completely confidential. We've come now to the end of part four, type of illness, and the next video in the series will highlight the differences between the public and the private healthcare systems in Australia.